hello guys so welcome to the new video again so in the previous video we have set up our backend api so in this video we are going to now integrate those all our endpoints to our client side so this is going to be now really interesting because now uh, we are at the uh, end of our project uh, very near at the completion so now uh, things will start getting interesting here so so in this video we are going to integrate all the uh, routes or api endpoints and we will hit the api request to our backend so before we do that actually you can see here we have got a problem here so because uh, as you can see so while we are checking this check user logged in we are checking for if there were if there is no error right but what if there were any error like we have sent some request but if there's uh, the our server is returning uh, the JSON response in terms of error so in this uh, so to fix this we can simply navigate the user to the login that's it so this is a pretty quick fix that you can do in the application and we're also going to check for the token if that exists or not so I'll write here if local storage dot get item and we will write a token and if this doesn't exist then we can simply also navigate the user to the home page and then we are going to replace this to true so if i hit your refresh and uh, let me just uh, log in to the account so if i hit here enter if i still refresh and i think okay so we haven't got so let's see this if this why is this is not working so if i hit a refresh and if we go to the stories local stories we can see we have a route token right so if i remove this and if i hit a refresh again as you can see we are getting login so this is a pretty quick fix that you can do in your application so if I get login again and if I hit a refresh I'll still be I'll still be logged in into our application. So now let's start integrating our endpoints. So I will create here a page. So but as you can see this looks pretty ugly for now. So let's go to let's start creating a jumbotron. I know the bootstrap five doesn't support jumbotron, but still we can create that. So I'll write here bootstrap jumbotron bootstrap and the code will look same so I'll go here and copy this all and we'll go to the pages we'll go to the login and simply we are going to paste this all and I'm going to replace all our classes with class name and if I hit a refresh okay so we're getting an error if I hit a refresh as you can see this is working fine but uh, the button looks pretty early so we don't want this button let's write here secondary info I guess so yes this looks pretty fine now and we will write here welcome welcome and we will return the state of the user so i'll write here const user is equal to use context and we'll require a auth context and we'll write here welcome if the user exists then we are going to uh, write here user dot name else we are going to simply write here null okay we need here parenthesis so okay we have already integrated the user so we don't need this line again my bad so if I hit here refresh as you can see we are getting the name of the user so as you can see this is working pretty fine simply we can reduce this font size to make it look even better and uh, I think this is good 
and we'll write here welcome to the or uh, let's just remove these lines because we don't want this and we're also going to remove this all things for now or uh, let's write here add contacts because we'll replace this later on and we'll also remove this and as you can see this looks fine for now and we can also uh, I guess remove this class name if I do refresh and right here h1 so this looks fine so now that uh, we we have successfully managed our home page now let's start creating our contact page so i'll write here create contact dot js and as you can see my intelligence is not talking again so i'll go and copy these all things similarly i'll paste it here i'll remove this all codes and we may need to the we may need uh, these things so i'll keep it here and except a form i'll write here create contact and we'll go to our app.js file similarly i'm going to replicate a new route that is create and i'll write here create contact and let's put it down here so if we'll go here and let's for now write here create your contact so if we'll go now here create uh, let's see C R E A T E okay I will fix this later on so now let's go to the f for now uh, nav bar and once we uh, have navigated to the nav bar uh, let's start creating here a link that is that is create and we will navigate this to create so if I go to the create now as you can see we are uh, getting our create your contact so now here we will uh, I will also teach you uh, how to fix this so bef but before uh, we need to first uh, have this create now functionality right because we will later fix this uh, fix that issue so I'll write here a uh, heading tag so I'll cut this off and I'm going to wrap these things inside of uh, h3 for now let's see and I'll write here create your contact and similarly we are going to uh, require some of the fields like uh, I don't know what is the name sorry model so let's go to the model and see the contact so it was name address email and the phone number right so we'll go here into the login and we will copy some of the components like this div we'll go to create contact and we'll have your form that will do nothing for now and we will paste it here okay credentials is not defined because we don't want these things for now so let's comment it yes it's work it is working fine so I'll write here name of name of person I'll write here and I'll change here name input name of person and I'll write here for example John Doe for example similarly I'm going to change the type of this text to the simple text and we will have the name that is name and similarly we can replicate this now so that was name similarly we will have the address I will change this and I will write here address input and this will be address and I will write here for now uh, let's say walk street 05 calif 
California. I know this does address doesn't exist, but uh, let's just use this as a template. <laughs> so once we have replicated this, now we need a uh, email and a phone number, right? So I'll copy this, replicate this again, and I'll write here email. So I'll write here email input. I'll write here email, and I will change the type of this text to email and we will put here example of like john doe at the rate example dot com and similarly we will have the phone number of that email so of that person sorry so i'll replicate this again phone of the person or let's write more specifically phone number of the phone number of person and i'll write here phone input I will change the name to phone and I will change the type to number so uh, it may be anything like plus one and or let's suppose right nine seven seven nine eight seven six five four three two one I'm going to just space this out so as you can see so we now have this uh, four fields and at the end we will have input type of submit with a class name of button button info that will have value of add contact and we will also give it a, a margin of that is 2 and this looks pretty fine so if I here add contact for now as you can see firstly we have to uh, enter all the details but now let's start a uh, Change, uh, managing the let's start uh, managing the let's start managing the state of our input so I'll create here a hook called user details and we'll use set user details and we'll use the state uh, and that will have the name address email and the last one that is phone so now we can uncomment these things and we can actually uh, use that user details dot name similarly we can go here and uncomment these things and I'll write here user details dot address similarly I am also going to uncomment these things these two things and we'll write here user details dot email and in the end uh, we have phone and now we have to create here a on change function so I'll write here const handle input change this will take event as a path argument and it will return us name and value from the event dot target similarly at the end we'll set the user details spread the previous user details and we'll override with the new one So if I'll go here and open my component and let's suppose uh, we go to this create contact and as you can see we have these states and let's see if this works or not. So let's suppose for now I'll write Deepak Sa as you can see the Deepak Sa is being updated now let's uh, write the address like Kathmandu code as well ok address is working fine as well so let's write the email so as you can see email is also working fine and let's write the phone number I'll write here any random thi things as you can see our phone number is also uh, getting updated so now uh, as you can see we are successfully managing the state of this 
page now uh, the one thing we can do is we can send the api request post request to our backend so i'll also have here something uh, called on submit and i'll write here handle submit and i'll create here a new function handle submit and this will also have an event and we will prevent the default behavior of the form like refreshing once we have that and uh, we can simply start making request to our backend so i'll write const raise is equal to await fetch will send post request to our backend like 8000 api slash contact this is going to be method of post and if i'm not wrong i have uh, protected the user sorry routes let's go into the contact as you can see we have protected protected these routes so we'll have a method of post and this will have some headers like content type of application slash json similarly uh, we'll have authorization and make sure to spell this properly right because if you don't uh, you will get an error while making the post request to our backend so i'll add here bearer and we'll grab the token local storage dot get item that is our token and in the end we are going to attach our data so i'll write here json dot stringify and we'll stringify our user details once we have that we can simply write here result is equal to await restoration and we'll check if there were no error so i'll write here if there were no er error then we are not going to do anything else so let's write here result if this works or not fine okay so let's see oh post is not defined we have to wrap this inside a string so let's see this if this works or not so i'll write here uh, let's suppose prasant kutta and i'll write here some name like uh, let's suppose and we will write here email like prasant at the rate gmail.com and we will add his contact i will open my terminal here and if i hit here add contact as you can see we are immediately getting the object in return it means our uh, our contact is being created right so we can simply now uh, uh, display a toast message so let's uh, display our toast message that is const toast is equal to use context toast context and i'm going to move these things upward so that we can we will have uh, the context in in the very first beginning of our functions then we can simply show our toast function that toast dot success will write created and we'll write here user details dot name created and then we can afterwards set the user details to null or we can just simply write here name address email and phone number but if the uh, if the our request fails we can simply write here toast dot error and as you can see uh, we are 
uh, we are sending a JSON response of uh, result dot error like we have object and in that object we will have some error we have already defined this into our backend so we can just simply write here uh, result dot error so I think it should work fine now so if I hit a refresh and let's go to create and I'll add here one more contact uh, that is right, let's suppose and I'll write here address let's suppose so if I hit here add contact as you can see we are immediately getting created uh, this user okay so so now the toast message will look even nice so as you can see we are successfully managing uh, to make the post request to our backend and we are successfully storing that uh, contact into our databases so now in the next video we will be uh, fetching all our contacts and integrate in into our my contacts name so i'll see you in the next video bye bye